Hey, what is up guys, Klossnex here, and today I'm going to teach you how to build some monster traps. But before we can get into it, you got to understand how the trap muscles work. So here's a picture of them. So you got four points here, right? You want to do exercises that bring those left and right points towards the center of your back or towards your neck. So an exercise like a row or a shrug or anything that kind of brings your shoulders up or brings them back towards the center of your back. So anyway, here are my top five exercises for building up some monster traps. That being said, there's obviously other exercises that are great for building traps. This is just my list and I hope it helps. Okay, starting with number five, we got shrugs. So the shrugs are probably the most well-known trap builder that there is. It's a very simple exercise. You're just lifting your shoulders up, but this weighted movement is enough to give your traps a good squeeze. That being said, you want to avoid doing things like rolling out and like bobbing your head forward. Just try and focus on that top muscle contraction. Look at yourself in the mirror and try and make sure you're bringing your shoulder point towards your neck and you're watching the muscle get smaller. That squeeze is what you're going for. Number four, we got cleans. So I think cleans are really great because it does the exact movement that your traps can really benefit from. And that's from pulling weight off of the ground. So every time that I rip this bar up towards my shoulder, my traps are feeling the full weight of the bar and they have to squeeze among other muscles that are working here to get the bar up. But your traps really do a lot of work with, you know, holding the bar and squeezing as the bar comes up, bringing it right up towards your shoulders. It's just such a powerful pulling movement and uh, your traps do a lot of work here. Number three, we've got rack pulls. I think rack pulls are pretty beneficial for the simple reason that you can really load the bar up with the weight. You can really focus on just bringing your hips in and your traps have to feel the full weight of the bar every single rep. So it's a good way to really expose your traps to a high amount of volume at a high amount of weight with a pretty simple low risk exercise. So I would definitely recommend rack pulls. Number two on the list, we got farmer carries. I think farmer carries are a fantastic trap builder exercise because the entire time that you are carrying the weight, like in this video, you can see I'm carrying these dumbbells. My traps are being pulled down towards the ground. That means that they have to essentially squeeze to maintain that weight, maintain that pull. Since they're being pulled throughout the entire exercise, they gotta work super hard. So when you're done, I know your traps really aren't squeezing, but they are being fatigued. See, here's me doing a legit farmer carry in a strongman competition. And there's no doubt in my mind that farmer carries definitely contributed to me having traps the size that they are. It's just really not even just farmer carries. It's just doing heavy exercises. Anything that pulls your traps down with a heavy weight can benefit them incredibly. And number one on my list for how to build monster traps, we got deadlifts. The reason being, I've already explained it. You can expose your traps to a lot of weight. They're being pulled down the whole time and you got to get that weight up. So, you know, with the combination of you doing exercises that squeeze your traps in towards the center of your back, you know, towards your spine, towards your neck and doing exercises that pull your traps down towards the ground, because while they're being pulled down towards the ground, they're still working to contract, right? Because if they don't, then, you know, your shoulders are just going to fall apart. Your traps are definitely at work, even when they're not squeezing. So keep that in mind when you're trying to build up a massive pair of traps. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. That would really help my channel grow. Floss next out.